All right, have you thought about those questions? You might have your own patented answers as I have had. Um, <clears throat> but what do the scriptures say we are raptured from? What are we escaping? What are we not appointed to? What are we saved from? Those three questions. What do the scriptures say? Now, I didn't ask, uh, you know, when, give me all the reasons why the church can't be here so that the seven years can resume because uh, the old covenant's coming back and the new one's got to be gone. And that one's, we got to be out here, man. We can't be here for those seven years. I didn't ask that, all those reasons and scriptures you might find to support that. I asked you, what do the scriptures say that we're raptured from? That we're not appointed to, that we're saved from? We can get so hung up on trying to keep the church and Israel separate that we miss what is right in front of us. Some people say, oh God can't work with both groups at the same time. He's already been working with both groups at the same time. Israel came back into the land in 1948. They recaptured Jerusalem in 1967. Who caused that to happen? The Lord caused it to happen. Don't get so hung up on keeping Israel and the church separate that you miss what the scriptures say. Because it does not change the order of events in Matthew 24 or 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Let's get to what I call the rapture scriptures in the next video.